<laughs> you didn't play this in the background. Wait for people to come in. They come in. <laughs> Right. Oh. Right, here we go. Get the tattoo on the other arm. Cover up like this one. Oh, don't want my fat shiny. No man boobies. Wait like for people to come in if they do come in. If not, oh, this is a, a live that's going to be on here. <laughs> And uh, while we're doing it, I'm also editing and uploading the video. What up, Dave? How you doing, man? <coughs> so your boat? I thought I remembered your boat got messed up or something, or you sold your boat, or what? Are you still coming over to the Philippines, or no? What up, Mike? <laughs> How you doing, bro? Just getting more ink done on this side. Oh, my man booby out. Oh. <laughs> man, thought I'd do a live while I get it done. Might as well. See how it goes. Oh, we got five people in, so that's a good thing. I think there's a delay on it. I don't know. But this is Axel. He's my tattoo artist. He's the one that did this over here. Yeah, he's... You guys ever come here to Leyte or some Leyte, man? I'm telling you, this is the guy to get it done. I look you up. <laughs> I feel you, Mike. Now, no more ink, but what if you had a cover up? You have some work you want covered up and made better? <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Crystal's over here. She's being shy on camera. Vinzley's on the bed playing with the Christmas train. You know, the train that goes around your tree. And you can probably hear it. Christmas music. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. It's going to get my live knocked. <laughs> probably. Because of the music. I don't know. They're just saying jingle bells over and over and over again. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all right. Crazy, crazy. Well, yeah. You guys will see this uh, tattoo develop here. It's going to be a tribal sleeve. Oh, okay. That's what it was, David. I hear you. See, I told you, David. You got to get more people on your boat. Have them help you sail and sail with you. Get like two or three more people and do it a big a big sail. You guys can take shifts. I bet you could probably find some people from all the different streams or all the different channels and be like, hey, you know, who wants to sail across the ocean? Have them just chip in a little bit. <laughs> What's up, JBK? <laughs> Lee, I'm telling you, man, this is gonna woo, this is painful. The full sleeve coming up, so oh. we're just starting up here right now. He's only been going for like maybe thirty minutes, so Oh, I feel you, David. Okay, you sold the boat. Yeah. See, I thought that's what you said. Yeah, there you go, Mike. But he sold the boat, so that sucks. So you can't do that. That. Oh. That's gonna do the thing. Hey, Got the towel across to cover up my fat. Ain't nobody want to see that. Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're in my bedroom, the new bedroom. New. 
as we move. <laughs> so yeah, this is not the same old bedroom. We moved different house, so we're at a different location now. That's a whole nother video I got to do that I haven't even made yet. But yeah, for the people on the live or watching this, uh, we are no longer in San Roque. Sorry, haters. You don't know my address. <laughs> Look, I really care if you know or not. It doesn't bother me. You want to know my name? Oh, no. My name's Nathan Mortimer. Somebody already out of me, and they think that it's funny. But yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> um, the new video coming out is the second part to the first one. It's still loading up. I don't know what percent of that. Thirty-three percent takes a while to load. Then I gotta upload it to Facebook. So probably during this live, if it uploads and I upload it, it'll go live during the live, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Axel will come to you if you guys are in Leyte or Southern Leyte. I'll have you hit him up, and it's uh. He'll come to you, or you can go to him, or whatever. Just work it out with him. He travel. He's based around Ormuk. So if you come in from Cebu and you want to get a tattoo, come and grab a hotel in Ormuk. Go to Sabin Resort. Have him come over. He can tattoo you while you're there. Then you leave the next day and go back to Cebu if you want. He's quick. I mean, he did this one on this arm, this whole one right here, in like four hours. So, yeah. Uh, he's, he's quick on a tattoo. He's good. He's uh, won a whole bunch of competitions. He's a champion around the area in Leyte and Southern Leyte. Lee, I'm telling you. Yeah. You come and get, you got me hit it. Uh oh. Be careful, woman. <laughs> Don't break that. Let's buy him a new one. Uh, you come into Tecobon and let him know. He'll probably come up there to Tecobon. He can tattoo both of you. There you go, dude. What part of Samar are you going to, Mike? Yeah, he likes Samar. Maybe you can schedule it around a tattoo con convention time that he can do a tattoo con competition on you in Samar. <laughs> There's they do tattoo stuff up there too. Yeah. September. Oh, in we September. Did. Oh, you'd be there in July. Is there anything in July in Samar? <laughs> Somewhere? Yeah, in July. I can go. <laughs> no, I see there's a tattoo competition going on, maybe. Uh, nothing in July. Yeah, Asia. She's from uh, Samar. That's the one that, uh, shout out to Asia on the new movie. She's a celebrity, people. You better start following Rodrigo's life. Click his name and go to his channel because his, uh, his wife, she's now a movie star. Well, she's been in other TV shows and stuff, and she does modeling, but that new King Kong movie that's out in theaters right now, Asia's in it. That's Rodrigo's life. The woman standing next to him, at Lee and Asia, yeah, it's, she's in that movie. Then you guys can know a celebrity. <laughs> if he gets his channel going some more, he hasn't been posting. I've been yelling at him about it. <laughs> Here, this one, Valeria. You know that Valeria? That's where he's gonna be at in Samar. Huh? My phone? No, it's uploading the video, baby. You want to go snooping again? Snoopy snooper. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> But anybody watches that new King Kong movie or they follow the King Kong and Godzilla movies? Yeah. Rodriguez's life, his wife, Asia, she's in there. It's, I made a video on that, um, JBK. The, the case, it got screwed up on my end, not by me, but by somebody else on my end. And it got tossed out. But not tossed, tossed out. It was tossed out to get redone and put back in. But 
we got some stuff going on in our life right now, so we don't have time for it. I can easily go and get a different lawyer and put it right back in and they go in and it's a win-win. The Pfizer and the prosecutor all said, do it, do it, do it. We'll pursue it. Or physical, yeah, physical, I guess. I'm sorry, I messed up the name. But um, right now we got some things going on, so we it's on the back burner unless dude wants to push it some more. And if he tries pushing it or tries saying shit, I'll go throw it out on a freaking lawyer and we'll go right back in. It's no big deal. It's not like thrown out, ended. It's just, it's put on hold. And we put it on hold for a personal reason on what's going on. So we got some stuff that other people in here like Lee and other people know that's going on. So, and that's going to be another video announcement coming up in the future or something. Or if it slips up in this live, I guess then you'll know then. But yeah. But there's some stuff going on, so we, the drama we're putting on hold for right now, and we'll pursue it after. So, yeah. No, I know. He's a narcissist, dude. That's that's what happens, man. It, as long as he just leaves me alone, I was hoping he'd get the hint with this. And it being, it went to court, but then it, it stopped that he realizes and he's talked to that lawyer for real. I don't think he has a lawyer, but if he does, that lawyer should tell him, dude, you better shut your freaking mouth and leave the guy alone. That's all he's asking. And it, it goes away. It stops. But I don't think he's man enough or able to do that. He's just, it's not in his nature. He, narcissists can't leave stuff alone. And his whole thing is he's pissed off that I don't want to be friends with him. And I just don't. I mean, I can choose who I'm friends with. So if I don't want to associate with you, dude, don't associate with me. That's all it is. I mean, I, I guarantee there's going to be people on this live stream that don't like me. And they're just watching to get dirt on me, which it's I could care less. You don't like me. You like me. It is what it is. If we're friends, I got your back. If we're not, I could care less. Dude, I'm telling you, Mike, that, that's exactly how it is. He just, he can't help himself. I mean, I know that his uh, last couple lives or something he's mentioned me into and stuff, but it's not to the extent he did before. When he goes in and starts outing my parents, outing my house, outing my location, outing my full name, that's defamation and liability here in the Philippines big time. And he starts putting my face on the freaking, on stuff, and yeah. I've never done that to him. I never did anything or mentioned him on stuff until he started in on me. And that's what people don't understand. But enough about that shit. I just, I could care less. Out of sight, out of mind, dude. I just want him to go away. Yeah. JB, I'm telling you, the haters, for, for sure. I wonder if I can, hold on, let me see if I can start getting these things to pop up. All right, let's see if it automatically goes, or do I have to click on every one of them? <laughs> I love you too, Daisy. How do they do that heart? Oh. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah. Got a little bit of Hispanic Latino in me? Yeah. No, I'm mostly, I don't know, I'm, I'm a mutt of a bunch of stuff. I'm a typical American mutt. I'm not purebred on anything. I'm Irish, Native American, Italian, German, French. I don't know. I'm a mixture of stuff. Quarter of everything, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? I should do one of those DNA and me things because, you know, it's funny because these haters are putting up my parents, you know. Those are the people that adopted me, dude. That's not my you call it what it is, man. Spades a spade, dude. Go ahead. I was adopted. Now let's do some work. I'll try to do some homework on me. Oh, I got five different last names. Oh, find me if you can. No, just playing. Joke, joke, whatever. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Well, Lee, shoot, you guys, man. <laughs> what, you got 
four different passports, five different, pa six different passports. No, <laughs> no, I think you got like three or four different passports you were talking about. It's crazy. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Lee, you need to start that channel back up, man, and start explaining some of your stuff. Because your background's crazy, bro. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll drink a Coke Zero or uh, a juice or water. I don't do alcohol. I'm not into alcohol. Me being partial Native American, I literally I could show you right now, but I'm getting a tattoo. But I take a drink of alcohol. Like I'll get a Red Horse. I'll drink one sip, and my face will turn flush red, and my body will start turning red from one sip. It's crazy. That's yes, yeah, so I. Dude, I'm fat and I sweat here. We're just sitting here, and we're in the air conditioning. So I don't want to get red and start really sweating. <laughs> See, that's a story you should tell on YouTube, Lee. Your whole coming through and freaking, he got the swirl and he got the finger and he got set in the little room and he cried for hours. And <laughs> Which passport do I show today? <laughs> I'm telling you, Lee has some stories. Dude's funny. Dude's awesome. His wife's got stories. If they started, they got a YouTube and they, he's got a bunch of videos on there. You guys could go check out. And he starts going in on his stories and he starts up in his YouTube again and doing that on his free time. They're busy as hell. So I'm just saying, I'm wishing they would, but he's got some really good stories. He could tell you and stuff. Awesome. Dude, pineapple juice is amazing. Pineapple in Ormuk and Leyte is famous around the world. That's what they're famous for is their pineapple. And uh, <laughs> I'm getting exposed. Hey, bro, how's your five-second video? Oh, look it. We got somebody that has nobody on there. <laughs> yep. But, hey, guess what, dude? Thanks for commenting. Oh, you're gone. Uh, anyways, <coughs> but yeah, pineapple is, uh, get him gone, gone. Pineapple is amazing. And in Ormuk, they're really famous and they're littler and sweet and stuff like that. And I mean, yeah, if you go to Ormuk and you get a tattoo and you stay at Sabin Resort, if you want, it's a really nice one. There's another one he was telling me about, but it's further out of Ormuk. Um, but you can go to the pineapple fight. Farms, fields, I don't know what they're called. Something like that. And check it out. And the pineapple. Yeah, the plant, pineapple plantations. But pineapple is the only food in the world that when you eat it, it eats you too. It breaks down your stuff. That's why it, it numbs your mouth and stuff like that. Because it's actually breaking down some of your some of your stuff in you. I guess it's more scientific than that. And I'm not that scientific on stuff, so I couldn't tell you. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that might be true, Mike. I don't know. That's something they'd have to look at. I mean, Native Americans, if they did DNA tests, date back where they crossed from Russia to um, across that divide into Alaska and then came down from Eskimos down and stuff and all that. So, I mean, they probably have Asian blood in them. So, I mean, it would be a, yeah. It could be true on that. that. That's crazy. I never thought of that. I, I might. Like I said, I'm a mix. I know my dad and I know my mom, but my dad doesn't really know his dad, I don't think. And he's mostly Italian, but he's mixed with stuff in there, too. So I don't know. Uh, my real background on stuff, I'm not too sure about. I just know bits and pieces from here and there. Try sucking a little bit. <laughs> Get the whoop. What up, Mike? There's my sergeant from the military, man. That dude, he's an awesome guy right there. Dude, I wish he'd start a channel and tell his stories. Because this dude here, Mike Bailey, if he started a channel, man, he's got some war stories. Dude's so old, he was fought in the revolution. I'm just playing, right? 
he fought in Vietnam though, and all the way through he was a tunnel rat, he was a CB, he was an army. He's got tons of war stories from Vietnam all the way to he was in Iraq with us in our unit. And his son was in there too. Mike's he's a good guy, a really cool guy. I wish he'd start a channel and start telling his stories to document it so people can listen. Because he's got some war stories. If he wanted a war channel, dude's got some stories. Mike, get up on that, man. Start documenting that so your grandkids can hear about it from you and stuff. Because you're old, dude. Revolutionary war old. <laughs> he's our old war dog. He's awesome. Oh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Oh, see, you got either Native American or Asian, any of them, too, Mike. Because, uh, yeah, that's the same thing. I mean, I do a couple of sips or a drinks, and it doesn't matter if it's beer or alcohol, hard alcohol. I get flushed, and yeah, I thought it was always the hops or something or the barley or something, but then regular alcohol does it like alcohol alcohol does the same thing to me and all that <laughs> oh i didn't okay yeah i knew you were native american and stuff somewhat yeah mike's as little as an asian too he's about the size of a filipino female <laughs> yeah dude i'm telling you i i should i should i want to do that and i want to do Kristen's too because everybody, it's funny, she goes around here and everybody accuses her of being, uh, what is it, Korean or Chinese? Yeah, they always think she's either Korean or Chinese or mixed. <laughs> they, sometimes they get shocked she speaks Messiah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, see, maybe Mike Dowie, you and freaking Mike Bailey there, you guys might uh, be related. <laughs> oh yeah april 9th buddy april 9th you going to yellow ribbon for matt yeah see yeah dude i'm the same way man when i hear stories from people about stuff that's real and stuff i just i think it's so cool and it needs to be documented because once they're dead, it's gone, you know. And every uh, – I was in Iraq the same time Mike Bailey was in Iraq. He was in my unit. He was my sergeant. His stories are even different than mine because he did different missions that I didn't do. So, I mean, we could have the same period of stuff but different stories. So every story needs to be documented, you know. That's a good thing to for other people to listen to and hear and experience what went through and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. See, I didn't know that, Lee. I thought you were more French or something. No, I just, <laughs> just play. Oh, God. <laughs> no, yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Mike is... Oh wow, yeah, that's a that's an infamous date uh, from my unit because April 9th in Iraq was uh, when we lost people and it's it's pretty famous. They were trying to make movies on it and stuff. It, if you look up Good Friday Attack or April 9th in the U.S. Army in Iraq, you can see all about it, and hear all about it, and stuff. That's a it's a a bad shadow day for us, for my unit. <laughs> but I'm glad it's your son's birthday. That's cool. It's just home. Oh, <coughs> uh, okay. How's she doing? Hopefully she's doing good. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, you've got tons of stories. Freaking all the Pathfinder, freaking... I mean, you got you got war medals and stuff and jobs like the Pathfinder. They don't they don't do that no more in the military. I think it's been discontinued. So yeah, you got all kinds of stuff. 
<laughs> sí, <también. risa> Dude, I'm telling you, I mean, I've got a Native American sister, a Jamaican sister, Mexican brother. You know, that's where they're from and stuff. That's where they're originated. Yeah. My family gets around too, buddy. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, Highway to Hell. Yeah, there you go. Not the song, but the, it really happened. April 9th, Good Friday Attack, all that. Matt Moppin. Dang, that's cool. Yeah, family lineage and stuff like that, and knowing your ancestors and where they're from and how they are, that's really cool. It's Me coming for somebody. Out, James, we got up in the He's live back here, too, on Facebook. <laughs> but, yeah, I always find that interesting, people's history and stuff. That, I guess because me being adopted, I know my mom, and I know my dad, and I know my adopted parents, but I don't know much history on my mom's side going back or much history on my dad's side going back and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. I don't think my dad really knows much about that. And my mom, I don't think really cares. So I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, B. <laughs> Dick. Yeah. She's right back here hidden on the bed. I can't even the camera that way. I don't know. Man. No. <laughs> she thinks she looks haggard right now because she doesn't have, she's still in her pajamas and stuff. I mean, it's 10. Oh, no, it's not. What is it? It's like, it's in the afternoon. My clock's wrong there. It's 1.24 right now here, p.m. But, yeah, it's a lazy day for her. She's not doing nothing, so she's still in her pajamas. <laughs> she's like, don't aim the camera. Don't aim the camera. But yeah, she's doing really good, Lee. Yeah, you're not smacking me, Mike. Oh, uh -uh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. See, I didn't. There we go. Now we're back. Hopefully I didn't do it on yours, but on my screen it had the black screen loading, loading. But yeah, no. Um, on my adopted family side, on my dad, you met my dad, Mike. Um, he can trace his lineage all the way back to um, George Washington, where he's related to George Washington. There's a George Washington had an illegitimate. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not George Washington. Woo! Ulysses S. Grant, Civil War. Um, he had an illegitimate son that was passed to a different family, and that family was the Shickle family, or uh, Sickles. Sickles? Yeah, Sickle. And the Sickles was another general, but not as well known as him, as Grant, and that's, they're related to us. So Grant's son, or dog, or whatever it was, somehow there's a big story that intertwines with it and stuff that, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm related to Ulysses S. Grant and stuff. But yeah, you ever go to Pennsylvania and go to the uh, the battlefield? You go into the room that they do the whole 360 around. They light up the posters, uh, the painting and stuff around it. Then there's a light up board. That was my uh, my relative did that <laughs> at Gettysburg. So that's pretty cool. My family's really famous. I'm not. I mean, my uncle is a, a professor and he's one of the top brains in the world in aerospace engineering. So, I mean, so my my last name's been outed, and everybody knows anyway. So, I mean, you can see that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the boring one. <laughs> 1640s. Wow, that's still freaking. I mean, Charlemagne's way older than that, but still, 1640, that's really good to be able to trace trace your lineage and your family history and your tree back. That's cool. That's really cool. 
What up, Bill? How you doing, bud? Yeah. I got family in State College. I got family everywhere in the United States, literally. My family is massive. And with the different last names in the family, because of being adopted, so yeah, it's it's crazy. But Philly, Philly's a cool place. I like Philly. But yeah, right. State College is right over from Philly, and that's where around there and stuff. Yeah. For sure, Bailey. It's crazy. Stonewall, man. Yeah. Bill. Glad you're doing good, man. Um, it's a Filipino tribal sleeve. And Alex here, man. He's the tattoo guy here. And Leyte and Southern Leyte, you need a tattoo i'm telling you hit this guy up you ever fly into cebu and you want a tattoo you can take a fast cat to ormok it's 20 bucks and you get vip and it only takes two hours three hours on the boat so jump on the boat in the morning get a hotel room and an ormok and he's he lives right around ormok he can be to you within minutes and tattoo you and he's quick he's the one that did all my tattoos on the other areas and stuff this part here and yeah, and he's working on this one. So he's an award winning champion tattooist from around this area. So yeah. Oh, your son? I think that's what you're saying, your son. That's cool, Billy. Norman, Oh, your dad's. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. All the bases are getting... That whole woke crap is... I don't know, man. I'm staying out of politics now. I'm no longer in the U.S., so I could care less. <laughs> but I was a, a constitutionalist. That's what I was. I leaned Republican, but... I didn't side with everything with Republicans. I was more a constitutionalist. I believe the Constitution of the United States is a binding contract, and it's perfect, and it doesn't need to be abbreviated or added onto or anything like that. It's good the way it is. You know, now that women can vote, there's no slavery and all that BS crap and stuff. I think it's good. But everybody wants to change everything. Everybody wants to be a superstar for something, I guess. I don't know. Lead the charge. <laughs> Dude, she's... You know, there's actually two places we found here in Leyte and Southern Leyte that has really good cheesecake. It's not New York or Philly cheesecake, but it's pretty good. How, that little island off of Subic, is that where you ever heard of this one? Coronado? That's that place up by Subic, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the island you were telling me about that you're, oh, Corrigan Door. Or yeah. 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 Yeah, that's that place that you were telling me that the, the, some stuff was buried from World War II. No, that, that island's actually really hard to get to. Um, you got to go all the way to Subic, then you got to take a ferry across to it, and it's small. I don't even think it's like a day trip. But, no, we never got to go over there. We were in a... I mean, we want to go back to Manila because they got the uh, funeral place. The um, what is that? Uh, it's got a World War II uh, memorial uh, cemetery. Was... Cemetery that's famous up there in Manila. The cemetery. Was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. We want to see that. That looks really cool. They're barely changing the name. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're in politics, man. <laughs> Bailey's deep into politics. Y'all want to talk politics. That's the man to talk to. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
Now, if you want to go railroad and go back in the United States history and stuff, my parents, uh, the Mogmer side was uh, big into the Underground Railroad. And that's why if you look at some stuff that it's uh, – there are other lots of our last name. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Duke, not at all. Not at all. All hot air. Oh, yeah, yeah. The 530 Airborne jumped in. That's where they jumped into? Is that island? Oh, wow. Okay. It's an hour, huh? That's quick. Was it a quick boat or a slower and it just a short distance? Maravellis. Yeah, my grandfather was a. Uh, he's got like twelve silver stars or something like that. It was. It came to find out he didn't talk about anything. He didn't like to talk about World War II or anything like that. But he served in the army in World War II. He was stationed in Leyte. Uh, when MacArthur left, he stayed in Leyte behind as a guerrilla. And then when MacArthur came back, he was there to help him come back. You know, and he's the one that said that whole entrance into, you know, Leyte was staged because it had already been, troops had already been back before MacArthur come walking back on. It was just a big thing. But, yeah, and he's got, I don't know, seven or 12 Silver Stars, something crazy because of all the stuff that he did. But his whole life, he never talked about the military. When anybody asked him, he said, yeah, I served, but I was an accountant. I gave out the paychecks. So he was on all the landings and giving out the paychecks in late day. What? Nobody was getting paid while they were fighting here like that. It was when they were going on leave, you get paid. But, yeah, so it didn't make sense. But uh, at his funeral, for his obituary, they did some digging, and I had some friends dig into it, and they found a whole bunch of stuff that he had done. You know, he was he was an accountant in life, but he was not an accountant in the military. But yeah, that's why I liked Leyte and had a a connection to here because he had spent a long time here in Leyte for the war. This is where he was at, basically. Oh, you know who this is, Marion. You ever heard of him? Oh, yeah. In Manila? My, my young? Yeah. He's in Manila. I guess he's a judge in Manila. Artist? Yeah, tattoo artist competition and judges and stuff. That's who does his tattoos in Manila. That's cool. Well, now you got one in Leyte. Right here. And then Zoe back there watching... Back about oh okay. Don't want to ride a pump boat. <laughs> oh, see? There you go, Mike. Yeah, see your same thing. Bailey landed in Leyte. He was with MacArthur, man. He's the guy next to him carrying the briefcase. That's how old Bailey is. <laughs> oh, I was just playing. Everybody in our you he always gives him that crap. He's old and stuff. He's an awesome dude. In a firefight, I wouldn't want anybody else having my back but that dude right there. With his background and his know-how and his knowledge of military and tactics, man. Yeah, buddy. I'm telling you, shoot, all three of us are probably our father's cross paths because, I mean, well, at the beginning of late day, I don't think there was that many people that were stationed here coming back in, but who knows. I, I'm i not going to speculate on that, but who knows? I don't know. I mean, my case was in trouble because of one word. We put the video, and instead of putting YouTube video, so since it didn't say YouTube, we forgot to put YouTube, that one word kicked the case back. But it got kicked back three times because people that were writing it up kept on forgetting to put that word in there after the... The Faisal and the prosecutor were telling it, so finally they're like, dude, it's three times, man. Just you need to get a different lawyer. We're kicking it back again. 
And now I didn't know any of this. It was all going to the other people and they were not relaying the information to us about it. So we never knew that it was going on like that. So that's why we're like, yeah, well, and now we got stuff going on. So we're just going to wait. Hopefully it drops. The whole point of it is to get this dude to leave me alone. If he can't leave me alone, then we got the problem. We'll go back into it. If he stops and leaves me alone and drops it, then it's there's no point in chasing it because I got what I wanted. That's what I want the whole time. Oh, nice. Hoorah, Bailey, hoorah. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. My uh, my grandfather was in World War II, and he was in the this side facing the Japanese. And he, uh, the nicest man you ever met. But those people from World War II, there was one thing if they said that to you and they called you that, you knew you were in big trouble. So if he ever called you a Nazi or a a Japanese, but the shorter a jap i only heard him say it one time and he was pissed i'd never seen a man pissed like it took a lot to get him mad but my mom totally made him mad because my mom worked for mitsubishi and she took a job at mitsubishi a higher up job and he got pissed because if you know anything about world war ii mitsubishi originally was designed making the zeros that took lives and he fought against the Japanese so that he was mad he was like you shouldn't do nothing with it what are you doing da, 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 da. you know so he was kind of biased against anything to do with Mitsubishi not the Japanese people because it's not their problem they were in a war but Mitsubishi was a manufacturer of the engines for the zeros and made the zeros and that he had a major problem with Do you, Oriental, everybody ever goes to Tecobon they want to see MacArthur's Landing and stuff? Or you're just going to Tecobon to hang out? I know that our channel has promoted the hotel a lot, but right there, what Lee's talking about, the Oriental, dude, that hotel is amazing. And it's directly right next to the, uh, MacArthur's Park in Baco. It, or not Baco, it's a, yeah, it's Baco. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. The Oriental is a really nice hotel. It's expensive. Um, in the Philippines prices in Leyte, because most hotels run here from anywhere from 1,000 pesos, which is 20 bucks to, you know, you can get up towards a two to $300, but yeah, that one's kind of a middle ground. It's a really nice one. It, Oriental, everybody should go stay at. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They're talking more, more military stuff than the ships. It, it, yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way my grandfather felt. He wanted nothing to do with German VWs or Mitsubishi cars. And when my mom took a job with Mitsubishi at the plant, woo, all hell woke out. World War II. He wouldn't talk. He didn't talk to my mom for four years over that. Four years. And then when he was dying, he finally started talking to her again because he was on his deathbed. Literally on his deathbed. Crazy. Uh, Mike. Mike. Mike and Mike. Yeah. I, Dowdy man, maybe Bailey knows your dad. I, that's coming close to the stuff that Bailey was at, I think. I don't know, Bailey. When were you in there? You can answer that better. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, which Leyte Beach? Leyte's got a bunch of beaches. <laughs> oh, man. My phone just turned off. Hopefully that video is already done. Oh, frick me. Here, Kristen, plug my phone in. Oh, she's passed out. 
Dang phone just turned off. Hopefully it's turning back on. I got my video downloaded. Oh boy. If not, I gotta redo the video. That kind of sucks. Oh no no, that's iPhone. This iPhone? Is, yeah, this is my oh, no, no, she's got my uh, mine's a C charger. Okay. She's got iPhone, I got Android. Mm-hmm. I don't like you like iPhone? No, I like junk. Not my thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's see, I don't know if it downloaded. No. Sure didn't. Now I gotta re download it. Dang it. Well, that a lesson. There we go. Start back at zero. <laughs> Dang it. Phone had to restart. That screwed the pooch. You got me. <laughs> Yeah, but wouldn't they? That's been a long time. And if they're on the beach, the water hitting it, I don't know, man. And I wouldn't know even what beach. Leyte has thousands. The whole coast is a beach around it. Leyte is a giant island. So which which Leyte beach? It, well, that's up by Bato, but that whole coast is a beach, bud. I mean, it's... Ooh. I am not an iPhone lover. I, I'm not a fan. I've had an iPhone. I had the iPhone 7, and that was the last I ever did with the iPhone. Android's always been better, in my opinion, but that's in my opinion. Other people like iPhones. That's all on them. Like I said, Chris has got an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and she loves it. I'm... Uh, I don't know how to maneuver on it. That might be why she loves it. She can go through my phone and do all the stuff on my phone. And then I don't even know how to maneuver in her phone at all. This iPhone's totally different. Dude, I wouldn't doubt it. If, I mean, if it's the landing part where they did the beachhead, that's where the Oriental is built. <laughs> it might be under the Oriental. Or somebody probably found it, I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's little Vinzoy back there. He's laying on the bed watching on the phone. Vinzoy, say hi. <laughs> ah, there he is. Dude, Mike, I'm telling you, that's what I told you to do. You need to come over here, bud. Bring a metal detector and hit that beach, because I guarantee nobody's metal detector around the beaches here. That'd be something to do. Probably find all kinds of stuff out in the water, too, if you can go out. I mean, right out on the uh, in southern Leyte, on the other side of Burgos, uh, Longstadon, where I used to live way back in the day, there was a submerged truck out there you could swim to and swim around. It was pretty cool looking. Yeah, David, Android. <laughs> there you go. Come find him. Buddy. Gives you a reason to come out here and visit, bud. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> What's up, Alex? You missed it. We've been talking war stuff. and uh, Yeah. Because we got a... Uh, a patriot guy that served next to Washington and MacArthur. <laughs> I'm just playing. Mike Bailey was in my unit with me. Mike's a cool guy, man. He served since Nam. He's old, old school. <laughs> Why? Free ball it. It's all good. Ain't nobody looking at your old ass, bud. You look like two dried up prunes. Raisins. <laughs> just playing. Uh, nah, you freaking wear shorts and 
let that stuff air out. Ain't nobody seeing. Ain't nobody know you got boxers or not, weirdo. Rocking them whitey tighties. <laughs> See, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this stuff. Cause I gotta, I'm physically like moving. I have to move my hand to move the questions. And it's not like scrolling down to the next question. <laughs> 33. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you have a birthday last Friday? If you did, happy birthday. I missed it. Then again, I'm off and on on Facebook, not really paying attention that much. I'm going to weed away from it a little bit. Swirl on it. There, we're back. That's weird. Yeah, dude. I get from outside when I'm here and it's this hot. I go from my air conditioned room to the air conditioned truck. <laughs> then we go. It's, it's hot, man. It's like Florida hot with the humidity, too. So when you walk out, you immediately feel like you've been in and out of the shower. You step out the air. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I saw you removed yourself, bud. All right. Did you get removed? I don't know which one it was. True social? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if I got an account there or not. I might. Aqua Flask. Yeah. Not an advertisement. I wish they would Sponsor, but these are good. Kind of like the Yeti cups, but they're, uh, I don't know. You got Aqua Flask there. They're really popular here in the Philippines. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, it gets hot here and humid. It makes it even more hot. If it's a dry heat, I'm okay with. But this wet heat, ugh. Get your monkey butt. <laughs> Dude, that's about how it feels, man. I leave my hand like this just sitting outside, and if the sun's not directly on it, I can fill it up and dump it out. But it's not water, it's my sweat. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, see, you'd like it. Hey, Mike, you were always talking about retiring down in Mexico, dude. You should you guys should all retire over here. This is a lot better. I like it. It's awesome here. This country is amazing. People are amazing, they're friendly. Oh yeah. Only thing is the beef quality. I I bitch about that all the time. <laughs> But a lot of them don't eat beef over here anyways. They're like, uh, fish, you like seafood, man. This is a place to be. It, well, I like cold. Remember this. You can always take off layers, but you can't take off your skin. <laughs> in, the, in the winter, you can always double up, put more stuff on there, put more... Clothes on, cover up, heated blankets. Yeah. Then you make an air conditioned blanket. <laughs> yeah. You're in Tonka on? <laughs> Follow this guy right here. This is the tattoo artist. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's cool. See, yeah, you're tracing your stuff all the way back, too. Yeah, a lot of us here were tracing ourselves back to the Civil War, and Mike Bailey can trace himself back to the Revolutionary War. Shoot, David Dole can trace himself back to Constantine. That's crazy. Me, I can trace myself to my mom and dad. That's about it. I don't know much past that. On my adopted side, I can trace back to Civil War. 
and stuff like that, and then Germany and stuff. But yeah, that's cool. Scottish, yeah. Civil War is awesome. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Memphis. It's crazy, but it's hotter here and more humid. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna. I need to lose weight. I'm too fat. I got very fat. Oh, see, that's cool. Harper's Ferry. I know that one. <laughs> yeah, Lee. Epstein Island's bad area, man. <laughs> Getting a whole tribal sleeve done. Uh, Filipino tribal. So it's... A, Kind of like Polynesian, the Filipino style, Filipino meanings. Filipino artist. Yeah, <laughs> artist meaning. <laughs> yeah, I re remember you talked about that. Hatfield McCoy's related to them, Mike. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Elvis loved it. You saying it's bad? Oh, are you going to get the Elvis Presley? <laughs> you and David, huh? huh? But yeah, Denario, we're doing the whole whole sleeve and stuff like that. He's doing it. I'll uh, show a little bit up here. Hold on, let me see if I can show you what how far we've gotten so far. Probably bad. I'll have to wait until it's uh, done more, and then I can uh, pull some stuff up and show you. <laughs> it's uh, he's still working. It's a work in progress. So don't judge nothing. <laughs> he's this this guy Axel is the same one that did this side. Uh, you guys all seen that in the pictures of the video I did. Uh -huh. Oh, Charlemagne, Charlemagne. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Two different things. My bad. <laughs> Dude. My whole back. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, I think this one here is pushing it for Kristen. She's not a big into tattoo. <laughs> Dude, that would be, I should. That might be the back piece. <laughs> oh, I see. I always thought Elvis was a pretty good person or something like that. I don't know. I haven't heard much about Elvis. My grandma really loved Elvis. She's the one that would always play the Elvis vinyls for me and stuff. The shoes, don't step on my blue suede shoes and the. Uh, the in the ghetto is one of my favorite Elvis songs. That one's really cool. A navy tat, <laughs> Micah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what are you trying to say, huh? She was 14. That's fuck yeah. That's really sus. Really kind of nasty. And that kind of makes me look at Elvis a different way. I mean, everybody's always talking about Michael Jackson and love Michael Jackson, but I mean, there's been some controversy in that artist too. I don't know what it is, for people in that chomo shit, dude. That's nasty. Popeye tat. What's a pop? That's the big anchor thing. <laughs> no, I'm good on that. 
Yeah, no, I knew that one. That was goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. It brings new meaning when you think of that. Yikes. I think that's it. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Yeah. Jerry Lewis. Yeah. See, it, it, all these popular people from back then, but nobody wants to talk about that. It's creepy. I'm not down with all that stuff, man. It's, yeah. I mean, even if you're. If you're married now to somebody that you met when she was 17 and you talk to her till she was 18 and justify yourself, well, I didn't sleep with her until she was 18, you're grooming somebody, dude. Grooming. I'm not going to name names, Tim. Oh, wait. I'm talking to Mike. My bad. But, yeah. There's problems there. It's creepy to me. I just don't associate with that shit. Sam Mig. <laughs> if Popeye had Sam Mig or a red horse instead of a spinach, he'd probably be a lot more weird. <laughs> or that hamburger dude that was always after the hamburger, he was always trying to steal spinach or eat sp or, uh, hamburgers. Instead, when he was going after Sam Mig, you could do a whole new take on the cartoon and make it <laughs> be hilarious. <laughs> there you go, Lee. You got it. <laughs> Red horse. <laughs> Cowboy Copus? I don't know who that is. It's a singer? I'll have to look it up. Yeah, I mean, the controversy on that, and it's straight from his mouth, met on Tinder at 17. They spoke till she hit 18. The week after her 18th birthday, he showed up in late day, and boom, boom, thank you, ma'am, left, and she's pregnant. But I'm not going to speculate on it. Oh, okay. West Virginia? Cool. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, Bill. Sleep well, man. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, now I know that one too. That that brings more content to what it is, Beckley, and then that. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, Buddy Holly and all those plane crashes back in the day, man. That's that sucks, man. We lost a lot of good artists and people that would probably be really famous now and stuff over that plane crashes and stuff. I don't know. Makes you kind of wonder if you want to ride in planes more. But yeah, no, it sucks what could have been. Our buddy Holly and uh, La Bamba. Who is La Bamba? Um, oh, the little Spanish American dude. Yeah, I can't. I'm drawing a blank on it. It was right on the tip of my tongue. So now I'm drawing a blank. But the guy that sang La Bamba, he died on the plane, too. With Buddy Holly and uh, that big dude. I don't know. This is coming from movies. I watched the movies and stuff. Ricky Valens. That's it. Richie Valens. Richie Valenzuela. With a sort of Richie Valens for Americans. Yep. He was a good singer. I liked his music. He would have been huge. Conway, Twitter, yeah, Johnny Cash. I listen to a lot of country. We listen to, I don't know, if you, if you heard our songs in our vehicle when we're driving, it's a mixture between gospel, uh, country, heavy metal, rock, pop. 
I got everything. If it sounds good and you're in the mood for it, listen. I don't discriminate on the type of music I listen to. I like it all. This is a sensitive area. Ooh, that hurts. It's all good. <laughs> you guys are going to see me cry like a little girl. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't cry. Hopefully not. Yeah, up in here, up in the armpit area. That's that's tingly. There you go, dude. Are you gonna start food here, huh? You know I'm fat. You're gonna talk food like that? Oh, <laughs> good stuff, man. Yeah, three doors down. I love three doors down. Matchbox Twenty, all the old stuff. We were listening to that in the trip. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Alex. <laughs> he always likes to bring up food and stuff and do that. But I do that in other people's channels. I do that in the uh, Eating Squad. When I'm over there, I do that to him. Buenas noches, amigo. Hasta luego. Thanks for stopping by. That's about all the Spanish I know there. Besides, I can cut you out pretty good in Spanish, but... I'm not really good in Spanish. <laughs> but, yeah, no, thank you. Darius, it's awesome to you. Stop by, bud. I'm glad to have you, man. Always. You're a subscriber, a paid subscriber, which is blows our mind that people want to pay money to watch. That's it's crazy. Thanks. You're awesome, bud. <laughs> David, yeah, you always do that. See, now, Mike Dowdy, if they could mix, put Ice Cube as the lead singer of Motley Crue, how would that be? be pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I like mixing sounds like that. Like last night, we were talking on the way back here from Ormo. Axel and I were about, like, uh, pentatonics, and then he showed me another band that their whole thing, they don't have any instruments and all that, and they have beatboxers and stuff, and they make it sound so awesome, like there's instruments in there when there's not. See, that's pretty cool with music. But mixing genders like that, I like. It's pretty cool, too. It's like a, they got cowboy hip-hop and stuff and all that. Uh, Georgia boys, Jaga boys or whatever with a J for Georgia. I like that. They're pretty cool. But, yeah. Cole Miller, like, yeah. Okay, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Corn <and> 50. <laughs> yeah. I like corn. Corn's a good one, man. Oh, that's one artist I do not like. Her music's cool, but her as a person is not good to me. She's two-faced and bad. The wife, on the other hand, loves Taylor Swift. Not me. As a person, I don't like her. Music, whatever. But I don't think artists or celebrities should uh, involve their politics in anything. But it's whatever. My body count, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Alex. Best female group. <laughs> Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> the run it. I don't know who that one is. Panther. <laughs> Put some Rob Zombie on there. <laughs> Watch the neighborhood freak out. Taylor Swift. <laughs> a dude in drag. <laughs> it's a lady boy. <laughs> Taylor Swift's a lady boy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that woke the wife up. She glared at me like, what? <laughs> She's a big Taylor Swift fan. She's a Swifty. Is that what they call him? I don't know. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. She hates Justin Bieber because of what he did to Selena Gomez. <laughs> the death tone. <laughs> there you go. True social. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Who knows? Celebrities nowadays, you never can tell. It's crazy. Uh, Axel here. 
he can sing. He sings really good. Screen twirling again. There we go. Now we're back. But yeah, no. Usually when he's tattooing in the middle, when he's taking a break, he likes to do a couple songs of karaoke and stuff. I love it because he can sing really good. It's crazy. I'd have him sing on here, but we'd probably get knocked because he sounds too good and they think it's a recorded thing. And that happened before in the other ones. The, yeah. Yeah, that Diddy thing going along is pretty crazy. That's, wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's a good one. You know, I think they were friends. I don't know. It's crazy. The rabbit hole will go deep with that Diddy one. Probably ties into Epstein. Maybe they were friends. Who knows? Dude, I'm telling you, Mike, back at our old house, one of the neighbors sometimes, not all the time, but every once in a while, would get up at 4 a.m. and start cleaning, and you'd hear the music blasting. It's like she had her speakers aiming out the windows. Like she wanted the whole neighborhood to hear. It's crazy. I was like, what the frick are they doing? I know they're not drunk. They ain't been drinking because they were sleeping. She woke up and she's cleaning, with blasting Taylor Swift music. <laughs> Did he <you> know? <laughs> there you go. That's a good way to say it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm telling you Axel can sing he's got a really good voice dude you guys ever seen that uh, Filipino artist that does the male and female uh, voice at the same time in the same song he was really famous and doing it and won competitions and stuff he can do the same thing it's crazy he sounds just like him it's cool uh, they better <laughs> Well, I'm sitting in this little, little bitty chair. It sucks. Oh, oh, that's cool. Mandolins are awesome, man. Bluegrass, yeah. My cousin was in a bluegrass, an Irish bluegrass band. Black Irish, Texas. That's pretty cool. He used to be in that. There, He's out now. He got married and kids and He's working and all that stuff, but yeah, that's his old band, and it's a really cool band. They're still around. Yeah, yeah, it's getting put into it. It's getting added half the sun into the travel artwork of the band. Yep. It hurts. Indeed, I'm telling you. We don't, well... Thank God around here we don't have that no more. We're back where we lived in San Roque. Wow. There were chickens and roosters all over the place. They got Everybody has fighting cocks, and they raise them. There are tons of them all over there. And, yeah, so we hear roosters crowing and crowing and crowing and making dogs go nuts and all that. It's crazy. But that's the sounds of the Philippines. You know this, Lee. Sound of the Philippines that beep, beep. Roof, roof. Right now. The sounds of the Philippines. <laughs> you get used to them. It's kind of like living next to a train. When you live next to a train, you don't hear trains no more. I grew up next to a train, so I learned to tone things out. So it's not a big thing to me, but a lot of people can't take that stuff if they're not used to it until they get used to it. And then it's just, eh, whatever. I didn't know you played the saxophone. That's cool, Bailey. I used to play the trumpet when I was in high school, and that's about as far as I went. <laughs> Dude, I can sleep really heavy sometimes, and other times the the door creak freaking wakes me up. And other times I'm just out. So I don't know. It just depends on how much sleep I've had. I'm pretty much non-sleeping. I don't sleep much. <laughs> I'm up all the time. Like last night I went to bed about 3, woke back up at 9. Sometimes I'll go to bed at like 4. Yesterday... I or the day before, I went to bed at 4 and woke back up at, like, 9 again, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was, like, almost 10. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. That's the sound of the province is a rooster. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guarantee if you did a uh, search on Filipinos and they did the ancestry thing, they're, they're uh, a lot of, I guess, their bloodlines would have a lot of Spanish blood in them too because the Spaniards were jerks here in the Philippines for generations. They had the Philippines and stuff and was using its conquerors and stuff. So a lot of them were mixed up. So yeah, that's why I, a lot of similarities in their food and their culture is influenced by the Spanish. Oh, wow. That's sad. <laughs> I feel you, know, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow, yeah. So you got the selective hearing, too. You grew up at the Naval Air Station, yeah. It's like, dude, I'm telling you, there was a train right in our backyard. We consider it the front of the house, but it was the back of the house. It was probably like a football field and a half away from my house was a train at track and freight all the time. Growing up, that's what I did. Yeah, I'm one of those people I got to get up and go pee. I'm old, 44, so yeah. Throughout the night, I get up and go pee and stuff because I drink so much liquid here because it's hot. Um, if I'm up and I'm like up, up, when I go to the bathroom, I'm like, uh, and I try to leave the lights off and stuff and maybe just turn on the light here or there. So I'm not really awake, awake. But once I become wide awake, I can't get back to sleep sometimes. So, yeah, it's sleep sucks, man. You know what I'm talking about. I guarantee Mike has the same problem. I don't know. All us people that have been through war, it's hard to sleep. But then when we get sleep deprived and we pass out, we're out, out. Yep. Filipinos are awesome, man. Filipino martial arts, man. If I was back younger again and doing martial arts, that's how, at Cali, dude, that's, that's awesome. That's some stuff I'd love to, love to learn. It's a cool martial arts that I did. Taekwondo and Judo and Jiu Jitsu and Gracie Jiu Jitsu, yeah, and all that stuff. And being up in the military, being doing that. <laughs> the combatives. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm telling you. Spanish were a big, huge influence in the Philippines. I mean, even the Filipinos, if you talk to them, yeah, they're Philippines. They're born and raised here. They're generations here. But they'll even tell you that the island, the people up in the mountains are like the old, old school Filipino pure blood people. And they're not even pure blood anymore and stuff. But it's the same as America. I mean, everybody, I don't think there's any true pure blooded whatever. Because with technology and everything and all that stuff and the way to get around and planes and boats and all that stuff, everybody's pretty much intermixed and mixed this stuff. They can claim that they're pure, but I guarantee if they did ancestry, it'd be all over the place. It wouldn't be one speck. That's where you're at. And that's it. It'd be, everybody be spread out everywhere. But that's the cool thing about being human. Yeah. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah, see? That's the same with Mike. Mike's Philippines journey, man. That's why everybody's always messing with him about, oh, you're Mexican, all this. No, dude. He's Spanish. There's a difference in Spanish and Mexican. Total different areas of the world. He's Spanish. He's a descendant of Spanish and Filipino. No. He's got that mixed, and then he's got other stuff mixed, too. Like typical American, you're you're not just pure one one, you know, you're mixed with other stuff. So yeah. 
Yeah. Your wife's amazing. And your kids are awesome, too. I say his kids, but they're about my age. <laughs> like I said, his one son served with us, his middle son. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with the Philippines. It's the one country that I think has the most OFWs, right? I mean, Filipinos move out around the world all over, almost every country, and then come back and send money back and stuff like that. They're like all over the world. They spread out everywhere, which is really cool. So the culture spread everywhere. It's just a lot of people don't know about it. People on YouTube are starting to figure out the Filipino culture with food. Jollibee's brought it out, made it famous, and people try that, and they're like, oh, my God, it's so good. And then they want to try other stuff in Filipino culture and stuff with their food. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't had Filipino food and you're watching this and you got a place around you you can find that has Filipino food, try it. It's good. Good stuff. My wife's probably over there laughing at me because I don't eat that much. But, yeah, it's good. Irish and Cherokee. There you go. Do I move it here or make it easier? Or oh, yeah. Right. Trying to figure out how he's doing the back part. That's really sensitive. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the way with anybody. Anybody from any country is <coughs> the blood matters to you in a way, but what matters is if you have national pride in yourself and stuff like that. Not like Nazi national pride and stuff like that, but just you know, be proud. Proud you're Filipino, proud you're American. It doesn't matter if you're mixed, stuff like that. Just, you are what you are. If you're born there, you are there. <laughs> bagoon? Balut, I know what that is. Bagoon? No, I don't know what that is. What's bagoon? 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 You ever heard of that? Right here. Bagoon? Bagoon? You can see the bagoon. Bagoon, right here? Right here, right here. Balut and bagoon? Bagoon. Bagoon? Bagoon. Oh, okay. Bagoon. That's it, right? Yeah. yeah, I know balut. I'm not eating balut. Nope, nope, nope. That's a duck abortion. Mm -mm, not my thing. <laughs> yeah, see, dude, typical American, man. You're a mutt. Anybody that's from America is usually mutt. See, Alex, I'm right there with you. No balut. No, 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 no. What up, Streak? How you doing, bud? Yeah, balut. No, no, no. Do you want to Oh, wow. That's cool, Bailey. I didn't know that. 99% of workers on naval bases were from Subic or in America? Oh, in America, yeah. Yeah. I know Subic was huge. Now they're talking about opening up four new bases around here. Small, but I don't know. We'll see. There's always speculation and talk of stuff like that. Like Try not to let my fat show. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Philo food? <laughs> What's Philo food? I don't know that one. Philo food? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, you don't have to tell me on that one. My wife can remember, remember yeah. <laughs> Purple fermented shrimp paste. Ugh. Is that like ube? Ube and shrimp mixed paste? Ugh. Ube is good. Shrimp? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a seafood person. Nope, nope, nope. Myanmar? Yeah. Nice. When were you there? Were you recently or 
you talking back in the past in like the 1600s? <laughs> I think you're probably talking about just, yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. You know, shrimp I can do, but oysters, nah. Sea, the squid, I haven't tried. Sea urchins are a big no-no. I tried that, and that was not good to me. I didn't like it. Wife loves sea urchins. We got a lady that we can go to, and she catches them immediately for us, and we pay her, and it's really quick. And boom. We can get them whenever she wants. And she gets cravings for sea urchins like crazy. So, yeah, she loves sea urchins. 1927. Oh, holy mic. Oh, Filipino. Oh, I got you. Yeah, Philip. Yep, yep, yep. Filipino food is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't catch that one, Lee. Huh? I'm slipping. Probably I'm distracted with my arm pain. 1985. Oh. I was going to say, 1927. Holy crap. Deep fried clams, but not calamaris. See, my wife loves calamaris too. I'm not a fan of squid. But calamaris here are not the same as calamaris in America. Calamaris here are are breaded squid. Calamaris in America are breaded octopus. So yeah. Crazy, right? 63%. See, it takes a long time to load these. And it's because my phone is cutting down, but yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. It's set back up now. I got to kind of lean it up against the computer here so I can watch the. I don't know. <laughs> I might eat it that way. Yeah, I should try that. Spring roll. That way. I know the loopy is amazing. I love that. Um, define restaurants. Closest McDonald's is like three hours away up in Ormoc where he's at. Um, but then like mom and pop restaurants, we got a bunch of them around here. Yeah. My little mom and pop side road restaurants. You know what I'm talking about, Alex? The little ones. <laughs> what up, River Dog? Dude, when are you coming over? Get you a tattoo. I can never have enough tattoos, but I think this is probably going to be close to it for a long time for my wife. Because it's big tattoos. Burger King? Closest Burger King is Cebu. <laughs> you got to go all the way over to Cebu, cross the ocean to get to it. We don't have any Burger Kings here. We got McDonald's. That's it. I got wrinkles too. I'm fat. What are you talking about, River Dog? Tattoo you some hair on your head. <laughs> River Dog's got a he's got a bunch of channels. You should go check him out too. He's a good dude. He's really cool. Former army too. He probably served with Mike. Them two old farts. Civil War guys. Revolutionary War. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Bailey. You got none. You need to get tattoos, bud. <laughs> oh, Burger Kings are closing down. What? Why are they closing down? I never heard about that. What do you mean? <laughs> See? That's what this is, Bailey. This is all about it. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> all this hurt. <laughs> See, River, you and Bailey probably have served around the same time and stuff. Bailey's a military, old school military. He was in my unit. He was a sergeant in my unit. But he served all the way since Nam. Burger King, Burger King here has those little, uh, I don't know, maybe they have them in the United States too. They got those uh, cheesy bites. Freaking amazing. Air Force, yeah, that's David the Air Force. Ugh. 
Wuhan did? Or where? That's nasty. Human meat. Ugh. Going out. Wow, that sucks. Burger King's one of my favorite ones. The flame boiled whopper is amazing tasting. Yeah, human meat. That's disgusting. Yeah, anybody that served, man, I salute you. Ugh. Thanks for your service. I'm grateful. You'll see. I don't want to see that, man. Don't push me on that. I never eat human meat. That's disgusting. Ugh. Yeah, I'm with Alex. What you talking about? Where at? Where? Oh yeah, Kristen's got three. The first time she got a tattoo, she got it. She got the um, the moon with my star. Uh, I got the sun, and she's got the moon and a star. And then she liked it so much, she got two more right after that in the same day. One on her ribs. Her ribs was her second tattoo. And then she got one behind her ear. So yeah, she's got she's got three in her first sitting. She got that one, and it was like, oh, it's not bad. Let's get one on the ribs. Axel and I were both like, what? <laughs> on your ribs? She sat through it. She said the one on her ear hurt worse than the one, or no, the one on her wrist hurt worse than the one on her ribs. We're like, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's got three now. But yeah, she likes them too. Asia wants to get another tattoo. You can get one with her? Have a tattoo? No, she wants to get another tattoo. She's got five. She wants a six. Do you want to get one with her? No. <laughs> She said no. <laughs> Kristen likes looking at tattoos, but she doesn't like wearing tattoos. She doesn't want to mess up her body. <laughs> You'll see the light. Huh. Is it in the U.S.? Bailey, are you talking, or are you talking to another of the country? You give us that? <laughs> Cracker Barrel's closing. What? Oh, my God. Cracker Barrel's awesome. It's busy as hell, usually. Huh. That's crazy. Well, I mean, there's a lot of restaurants in the U.S. that we thought closed, but they're here in the Philippines. I was shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Daddy. Say it so. That's weird. Oh, worldwide. So it must be a packing thing that sells to a bunch of businesses. Oh, that's scary. That's got me freaked out. I hope I never ate human. Ugh. That made me puke. A big dragon on her back. Yeah, Alex could do that. Big dragon? Like an Asian dragon or a, what kind of dragon? A realism dragon? Yeah. You talk to him. He can get it done when you guys come and you land in Teclavon. So whoop, that's right here. It's thinking again. There we go. Now it's back. Oh, I got you, Bailey. All right. Oh, yeah. Show them. Huh. See, that's all more reason for you to have a channel, dude. Tell your stories, then you can show this, what we're talking about. It's crazy, crazy. Oh, that's nuts. Do you have links or anything for it, what you're talking about? You can see? Yeah, buckle up, yeah. Dude, if I eat human meat, I'm going to be pissed. That's disgusting. I am very picky about what I eat. And that, ugh. Oh, my butt's hurting. I got to move. I'm in a chair again. I'm sitting in this little bitty, little bitty uh, outside chair. The two bars going along my butt crack. Nah, not my butt crack, but my butt. So I'm getting spanked. Ugh. Oh, here we go. There we go. We're back in. 
it had a really nice Denny's. That was we were shocked to see that too. I U.S. Denny's, I'm not a fan of it. Dirty. One of Manila is real clean and nice, crisp. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Mike, come up here, man, and have him do it. He can get you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wow. Well, then Cracker Barrel will be around. It'll just be under different management, right? That's the way it sounds. Like they're selling like Burger King's owned by A and W. It's a whole conglomerate of people that own a bunch of different restaurants. Yeah, we ate the one at uh in BGC. It's uh, across from a mall somewhere down there. I don't know. I can't think of it. Really, sense of where he's hitting right now. Oh, damn! No, I don't like to eat anything from China. Chicken from China. Uh, they get fresh chicken here. They got so much chicken in the Philippines, it's easy to get a hold of chicken. Cheap. Oh, let's check this video. Let's see. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right. 75% done. 76% done. Close to getting it done. This is just rendering it, and then I got to upload it to YouTube, the video. Oh, restaurants. It's restaurants that were selling it? Jesus, Mike. That's scary, dude. That's uh, McDonald's. They're everywhere in the world. Maybe it's them. Sheraton, Koreatown, I know, yeah. Sense of the spot in the tattoo, sense of the spot in the tattoo. Hmm. Especially McDonald's. Now, see, I knew that McDonald's used to eat kangaroo meat in their burgers. A lot of people didn't know that. In Champagne, there was a McDonald's uh, distri meat distributor. My buddy's uh, dad ran it, and they asked him, and it was like 50-50, 50 beef, 50, 50, 50 kangaroo. What's up, Steve? Everything's going great, man. Just getting this tattoo done. And it is, uh, whew. I got to breathe. Where he's at right now is up under the armpit almost, and that in the back shoulder. Woo, that's pain. That's hurt. Yeah. We're doing great, bud. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for coming. Enjoy it. Yeah. That's how Chris and I like to judge our hotels, too. We find a hotel that's close to a mall or close to something we can go to and see and stuff, and that's how you go and do it. Woo. Tattoos, pop. Hey, there's Kristen's feet. Oh, she moved. <laughs> I should have said nothing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't meaning kangaroo was bad. That's how McDonald's used to do it. But yeah, if they're human meat, oh, that's disgusting. Not saying anything like that. But, Hmm. Yeah, he's in the back, shoulder area, the armpit part. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <coughs> Dude, yeah, mall and entertainment is always what we look for. So, yeah, well, you probably travel the same way we do. Look for a, a good location to hotel around stuff that you can... So you're not stuck in a hotel room the whole time. You can go and do stuff and see and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with kangaroo meat. Yeah, I was just shocked that McDonald's was using it. But, yeah, kangaroo meat's really good. Roo is good, for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got it right here. I don't need it there. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that's a sensitive area right there he's got. <laughs> this whole area is... <laughs> I just got this live short so I can cry. <laughs> yeah, my booty, yeah. Never. I hear you, Billy. You try not to do too much uh, politics here. Right now. <laughs> Mm. You gotta bite through the pain. Bite through the pain. They all like this. You see me in pain on this one. Thanks a lot, dude. It's definitely uh, it is, woo, it's pain. It's tight areas up in this area that he's hitting now. What? For real? But rabbit's good too. I've had rabbit a lot. Rabbit jerky, a friend of mine used to make it, it was amazing. But yeah, huh. I didn't know KFC did that. Rabbit. That's weird. Yeah, one of the first. <laughs> He's already done it in the back and in the front here. That, mm -hmm. Seriously. That's when you were seeing me go mm, like that. Pain, pain, pain. <laughs> Yeah, he's not even, so he's going to get closer in here. That's going to be a serious hope. What are you going to put in your chair? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. No, I don't do it. Just in that, so. Oh. Hey! Yeah. Hey! That's serious. Sort of stuff. Crazy. But it's a cover-up. That's why it's got to be done. Take a break. Oh, we can take a break or not. You know, we need to take a break. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Here you guys go. Let me see what I can do. Oh, he's going to wipe it first. I'm going to take a pain pill. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we put we did a pattern. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's pain. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna pay. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. <coughs> but all right, you guys, hold on. I'm gonna so, oh hold on, let me go through the comments really quick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spit on an e sick bastard. <laughs> oh, all right, hold on. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut this short. Where you go on break, I might come back here in a second, all right? Uh, give us a bit, and we might be back, or I might just have to bite through it and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's an awesome idea, too, bud. Yeah, for sure. But, all right, man. Catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> 